Good afternoon, YouTubers. T Square here with T Square Talk. So, we got a big package to open today. I'm pretty excited. I kind of know what's in here already, but I've kind of forgotten. Um, this package is huge. Uh, some people have already seen uh, me talk about this package, but I didn't want to open it in the live stream. So, had had a couple free things in here. So, let's take a look what we got. Need to be careful because I don't want to damage a couple of the items that are in here. Um, trying to get it open, having trouble. So here we go. I don't know how to. Let's see here. I guess I'll just pull it all out and I'll let you guys kind of see. It's kind of like two packages, as you can see. Um. <clears throat> so the first thing we're gonna open the package. This is the coin stuff. We'll open that last. So you guys may or may not have seen this already. Um, I've, I've already filled up a couple. <laughs> um, these things are awesome. I love these binders. Um, I look online on eBay. These binders are like $50. I couldn't believe that. And the fact that I got one for free um, just for being a good customer. Um, they take care of me. I like Universal. This package, uh, if I forgot to say it. This package is actually from uh, Universal Coin and Bullion, um, and they really do take care of their people. I mean, I don't feel like I'm being nickel and dimed when I work with them. I get free stuff once in a while um, as kind of a thank you for, you know, doing business with them. I've had a couple people say they love these binders. They've seen them before. Check that out. So... I mean, to some people, they might look at it like, oh, it's just a binder. Um, and it is just a binder. I'm not going to lie. Um, but these pages are what people are selling for at crazy, crazy prices right now. To kind of show you what these things look like. You guys know I showed you guys these before. I've been buying a lot of them lately. But you just come in from the back. If I can get it in there with one hand. Well. Hold on here. Give me a second here. Oh, actually, I'm sorry. No wonder. I'm looking at the book upside down. Give me this. So, you come in from the back. I was like, why is that not sliding in there the way it's supposed to? So, boom. And then they go in like that. These things are so cool. I, I've already been saving a lot of my uh, W quarters in there. I've started saving my uh, graded Silver Eagles in there. I've been picking up more and more. Um, graded coins lately. Um, different people say different things um, on graded coins. Are you paying for the slab? That's a possibility depending on what you put a value on one of these things for. Um, these right here cost me about $45 roughly a piece. Um, and I know an ounce of silver is not $45. Um, but uh, I like that they kind of have a collectability to them. I know I, I say sometimes be careful buying collectibles. Uh, you can get burned. But, you know, I also um, hear people say you should diversify a little bit and be into different stuff. So having some collectible stuff I think is pretty cool. Um, this was actually from another day since I had it sitting here right beside. That's the uh, 1886 Morgan. Beautiful coin. But, um, so that's what I got, uh, right there. I haven't opened up the package yet. We're going to open up the big package. Um, well, I shouldn't say big package. Just I pick up a little silver every time I place an order. Um, pretty neat. Uh, this is a four, a four page binder. Um, I also have a five page binder right here. They're a little, as you can see, a little bit different in size. Um, so make sure, you know, if you guys do ever pick up one of these, you, you know, certain things. The five page one holds a, a great set of American Silver Eagles in it. Um, so I was pretty happy. Thank you so much, Bulltide, for that. Um, I will leave the link and a phone number on the bottom. So if you guys want to call up Bulltide and maybe put in an order, um, if you're ordering from him all the time, he does think of his people. So he called me uh, when silver fell. You know, I've ordered a lot of coins from a lot of companies, a lot of silver from a lot of companies. These companies never seem to call me when the price goes down. Either the premiums go up or the price goes up 
and then they want to call. I don't get that uh, when I talk to Bull Tide. So that's kind of the reason why I do like him uh, a lot and doing business with him. Boy, that package feels small. Um, I guess I didn't quite get as much as I thought I got. Um, I'm just taking a quick look at what I got. Okay, so there should be five coins in here. Um, boom, boom. Yeah, it might be five. So let's crack this open. Um, some of it is going to be more of the same stuff that I like to buy. I like to buy stuff that's cheap, inexpensive. I shouldn't say cheap because silver is not cheap. But um, I like putting in orders often. And I believe that you should stack, um, you know, dollar cost. Oh, wow. Huh. That's an NRA round. But that NRA round is not like all the other NRA rounds that I've been getting. So I'm going to actually show you guys real close because that first one I pulled it open. I said, yeah, they've all seen this. Should I even? But wow. Different design. Must be the New Year's design. Wow, I guess it is 2021, 150 year anniversary. Boy, I hope I got more of these coming in. I know I got a, a couple orders coming in. Um, that's nice. I like the anniversary one. So pretty cool when you look at it. So, and then I, I got two of those because you get two at um, pretty close to spot. Uh, I think it was like a buck over. Um, they are nine, nine, nine silver, three nines fine silver. Um, and I just kind of keep stacking regularly. I really think, uh, you know, some of y'all know I did just recently start getting into some cryptos. I totally understand that it's like me going to the casino, but you know what? With everything going on, I don't get to go to the casino anymore. Um, let's see what else we got here. Boom, boom. Okay. So I guess I'll show you this one first. So it's got a little tarnishing. It was it was cheaper though. Um, it is a Morgan. It was a cheap Morgan um, because of the tarnishing. It's an 1886 as well, kind of like the other one that I had. Um, but unfortunately, this one does have some tarnishing. Some people like the tarnishing. I'm not a fan of tarnishing, um, but it's an old old coin. You won't see many of these um, that often. So I think that's a pretty cool coin. And then, probably one of the most famous minted coins out there. There's probably more of them than any other coin, but they are one of the most popular, um, one of the best sellers. Uh, that is the 2021 American Silver Eagle. So, beautiful coin. Let's see there. I was checking my, I turned around my, my chicken, I'm boiling chicken right now make uh, some enchiladas but beautiful so it's not a lot of silver I know I know some people are like yeah it's only five ounces um, you know if you kind of stack regularly you don't really worry when the price goes up when it goes down you just keep stacking ounces you measure in ounces um, five ounces have gone up a little bit right now um, to put this into perspective, so you guys know what I paid. I paid, wow. Is that, that ain't right? Oh yeah, no, that is right. I'm sorry. So, okay. So we'll start off actually with these right here. Um, I ended up getting two of these American Silver Eagles. Uh, I, I paid 32 bucks a piece for them. I know some people are like, well, 32 bucks is a little high. Um... Silver at the time was 28. So I paid a little more, but they are the 2021s and I need them for my set. So um, he's probably gone down a little bit maybe on them, but I don't know. Um, I haven't checked in a little bit. Um, these right here, these are the new NRA rounds. 28 bucks. Um, so actually silver was 27.50 when I put this order in. It's the only thing, they don't say it on the... Uh, on the package, some companies, they put what silver was running the day you ordered it. Um, but, you know, they were roughly, these were roughly 75, 50 to 75 cents over spot, but you could only get two. 
Um, so that was one of the down things, but they want to make sure that everybody, they want to put some silver in everybody's hands. So I like those. Um, and then this one right here, beautiful Morgan dollar, 45 bucks has a little bit of toning. It was a little bit cheaper because of the toning. Um, you can see the toning right there kind of, but that's okay. Kind of brings, uh, a little bit of story to the coin. I've seen some people now, they artificially tone their coins. Um, they tone them with hard boiled eggs. You crush up, you hard boil an egg, then you crush it up, put it in a, a sealed container and place your coin in there with it. And something with the fumes uh, tone the coin. I may do that on a video one day and show you guys um, what it looks like. I, I've seen people do it and it's interesting. Um, I saw it on video. I shouldn't say I've seen it in real life, but I've never done it. I, I'm not a fan of toning coins. So, um, <clears throat> but pretty cool. Uh, keep stacking. Um, that's my opinion. I'm going to keep stacking a little at a time. Um, even though I'm into cryptos now, I'm not going to forget what the real money is. This is real money. Um, the silver's day is going to come, I believe. And when silver's day does come, and the stock market falls and the cryptos collapse because let's face it, there's no real value in cryptos. Um, my opinion, it's okay to kind of play other things, try other things, but at the end of the day, know what's real, know the difference. Um, I'm not a financial advisor, but I really believe deep down that silver is real money and one day silver's time is gonna come. And when it does, a lot of people will have abandoned it. I, I see these silver channels that have been pro-silver for years and years and years. And now they're slowly moving totally to crypto. And I even got asked, are you going to abandon your silver and go to cryptos? No, I'm not. Um, it's a funny question and it's a valid question um, because I am kind of going in hard right now on cryptos. But... Um, We'll see what happens. So with that being said, uh, keep stacking everybody. And even if it's just, you know, one or two a week, I know everybody's financial situation is a little different. I remember back when I was working for uh, the oil fields and I could buy lots of these. Um, and now I'm down to five a week. Um, but it does, uh, you do get it when you can get it. So keep stacking everybody and uh, hope everybody has a great weekend and take care. Thanks for watching. Hit that thumbs up and leave me a comment. I love reading y'all's comments, most importantly. And if you're not already subscribed, hit that subscribe button. Take care, everybody. Have a good night.